بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم محمد سعد فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف الیکٹرانکس انجینئرنگ یونیورسٹی آف انجینئرنگ اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ٹیکسلا پاکستان ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو پریزینٹ مائی کانفرنس پیپر ٹائٹل ایز الیکٹرو کارڈیو گرام بیس جینڈر کلاسیفکیشن فرسٹ آف آل وی ول سی دا کنٹینٹس آف اور پریزنٹیشن وچ آر انٹروڈکشن مٹیریلس اینڈ میتھڈس ریزلٹس اینڈ ایٹ دین کنکلوژن ان انٹروڈکشن پورشن وی ول سی اور ابجیکٹو literature review and some basic information about ECG signals. Our main objective is to design a system that can distinguish between different genders based on their ECG signals. We should have kept in mind that different genders have different ECG signals so they can be used in order to design a system that can differentiate between different genders. Now we will discuss about some previous work that has been related to gender classification. In 2017, sound signals and images of the face were used and DNA technique was applied. An accuracy of 68.78% was achieved. In 2018, voice signals were used for the classification of different genders and stacked ML technique was applied and maximum accuracy of 96.74% was achieved. In 2019 there has been a lot of work related to gender classification one of the authors used ecg signals for classification and cnn technique was applied an accuracy of 90.40% was achieved in the same year 2019 eeg signals were used as data set and lr and rf classifier were applied an accuracy of 99.82% was achieved In the similar year 2019 ECG signals were again used as data set and SVM classifier was used for the classification an accuracy of 83.66% was achieved an electrocardiogram signal which is also referred as ECG signal is a signal that contains heart information and rhythm that can be extracted by placing number of electrodes on the body Several studies have shown that every individual have some uniqueness in the ECG signals so it can be used in order to differentiate between different genders. Now in the materials and method portion we will see data set pre-processing tool feature extraction feature reduction and classification. Our data set was obtained from Physio Bank which has a database named as ECG ID. Our data set contains ECG of 90 individuals which has a sampling frequency 500 Hz and length of each signal is 20 seconds. There are main two classes in our data set that is male and female. A total of 312 samples were obtained for the classification. You can see raw ECG signals from Physio Bank. The blue represents female sample, whereas the red one represents male sample. Now we will talk about pre-processing. We all know that raw ECG signals contain some noise. In order to remove this noise, empirical mode decomposition, which is also known as EMD, was used as pre-processing tool. Basically EMD decomposes the infinite data which is relatively complex into respective functions which we name intrinsic mode functions or IMFs with varying frequency from lowest to highest. Due to noise and motion artifacts the first and last two IMFs are neglected. Here you can see that pre-processed ECG signal using empirical mode decomposition in time domain. Whereas in this particular slide you can see the pre-processed ECG signal in frequency domain. After removing noise from ECG signals following features were extracted which includes mean, skewness, cortosis, median frequency, root sum of scares, complexity, zero crossing rate, chroma, median absolute deviation, correlation dimension, spectral standard deviation, spectral entropy, wavelength, enhanced mean absolute deviation, log energy, 
spurious free dynamic range spectral skewness approximate entropy and some others in the beginning 42 features were extracted but in order to improve the accuracy of the system we should have minimum features as much as possible so in order to minimize these features kernel principal component analysis kpca was used for the reduction of number of features basically kpca ranks the important features and then we can choose the top rank features as a result of using kpca 42 features were reduced to 7 which gave us the maximum accuracy after reducing number of features we used find decision tree as a classifier it is a supervised machine learning approach that covers both classification and regression. It can handle inputs that are continuous and categorical and this classifier makes a structure like tree. That is, it divides the data into multiple branches based on the decision rules. In results section, we will talk about comparison of different classifiers, ROC curve, and overall accuracy in form of percentage. Now you can see comparison of different classifiers. You can see that fine tree and medium tree gave us an equal maximum accuracy of 95.2% whereas in summer rust boosted tree gave us an accuracy of 95.5%. Here you can see the overall accuracy in form of percentage of true positive rates of males and females. Now we will talk about ROC curve. Basically ROC curve is obtained by having TPR which is true positive rate against FPR which is false positive rate. The area under the curve is 0.97%. Now at the end I will conclude the things. In this particular research a design of system has been proposed which has the ability to distinguish between different genders. For this purpose, ECG signals was used and EMD was used as pre-processing tool and fine tree classifier was used for classifying different classes. KPCA has been used to rank important features which gave us maximum accuracy of 95.2%. Uh, these are the references which has been used in our research. Thank you very much for your precious time. Thank you.